Thanks for watching this video on the Oppo F1S LCD screen replacement. All the tools can be found in the description below with the replacement screen. Also, before you get started, make sure you remove the SIM tray. Now, as you can see, I'm just getting a pry open tool and removing the bottom cover. And that little bottom cover just comes off really easy. Now, after you've done that, what you need to do is remove with the Phillips head screwdriver those four screws. And now we need to separate the actual rear casing from the mid frame. Now using the eye open tool, I'll slowly slide around it and actually will pop up uh, once you've, you've moved it around and separated it more and more. This is very simple and it comes off fairly easy. Once again, you need the tools to find the best tools. I've got them in the description below and uh, with links to Amazon and of course a replacement screen. So now that's popped off the back, you've got about eight screws to remove with the Phillips head screwdriver. The great thing is they're all the same size so it doesn't matter if you actually mix them all up because it doesn't matter where they go. So you just need to remove them The great thing about this actual phone is it's it's a good repair for novices. One, it's affordable, and two, the great thing is, is that there's, there's not too much damage that you can do to other components. As you're actually, you'll see in the whole the whole uh, step by step process, you remove the whole logic board, which uh, minimizes any risk. So now we need to remove these connectors and shields. So at the bottom left there, you'll see there's a connector. I haven't taken it out yet, but that's a battery connector. So take that out first. I'm using uh, ESD safe tweezers, by the way. So uh, you'll be able to use your fingers, but I'm just using these tweezers so uh, you guys can see a good view of everything. Now, make sure you don't use uh, metal, anything metal that can damage the circuitry. And uh, you know, as I said, I'm using an ESD safe pair of tweezers, which can't short out anything. And I've done this many, many times. So I'm pretty confident nothing bad will happen. So I'm just popping up those LCD cables and connector cables. Once that's everything's popped out and that little cellular wire antenna on the left there, once that's everything's popped out, what we need to do is then finally just remove this little white uh, bracket holding in uh, one of the LCD cables. Now that pops out. Uh, we need to get rid of that because uh, we won't be able to separate the screen uh, uh, in the future. So what we need to do now is separate the screen from the actual uh, mid frame. What you can do is to make life a bit easier for you is get a heat gun or even a hairdryer and just slowly heat it around. You should still be able to touch it and, and it should still feel uh, fairly hot. The great news is that you can't really damage the screen any more than it is. So don't worry about burning the actual screen as such, but you still don't want to burn anything underneath. As you can see, I'm using that iSesimo or eye open tool to get in between the actual screen and the mid frame. And I slowly move it around there. Now it's, you know, it, it looks fairly awkward and, and, and stuff like that, but the great thing is it's, it's a very easy little uh, phone to repair. So it slowly pries off. And once we, uh, you know, go around, we'll be able to pull it off and then slide the little cables poking through the actual mid frame. And you'll see the home button just stays there. And it just slides through those cables. Now what we need to do is take note of this step. A lot of repairers will not tell you or a lot of other videos won't tell you that this is the important part, but it is. I'm taking off the actual adhesive on the mid frame. So what we do is we need to make sure it's, it's really clean so when we put the new actual LCD on, it will sit flush and flat. Now, if, if it's a bit 
how should I say, uneven in certain areas, then it won't sit in a nice way. Don't get me wrong, we put glue down to, to secure it, but it just won't look good. And, you know, at the end of the day, you still want it to make it, uh, you know, look like a professional job. So it's very easy to come off. It takes about 10 minutes or so, and you just need to scratch it all off. You can use any type of tool that, that you feel that, that makes life a bit easier, even your fingers if you want. Uh, it's, it's not really, really stuck on there too bad. I'm just showing you those areas where the adhesive is. You'll see that it's just the black parts there. And down the side, you need something really small and thin for that. And eventually you'll get there, but as I said, focus on this as one of the important parts because when you do, you'll give a, a good quality finish to your actual repair. Once again, in the description below, there's tools and where to get the actual LCD screen replacement on amazon.com. There we go, that pulls up. And uh, yes, look, as I was saying, you know, you can order from amazon.com. Once you do order it, uh, you can obviously get it within a few days if, if you're local to wherever that seller is from. And the great thing is, is that uh, you can use this video as reference. So please like, please subscribe, so you can come back to this video in the future and um, repair that, that phone of yours. Okay, so now that's done, what I'm doing is just getting a cotton ball with my tweezers and just getting the little bit of residue off. Look, you don't have to do this, but I like to, to give a good finish to, to the work. So uh, I'm just using alcohol. You can use nail polish remover, rubbing alcohol, methylated spirits, whatever you prefer. So uh, this is the one I'm using is just rubbing alcohol and just cleaning off that residue. The frame's in actually pretty bad shape. Okay, now that's done. What we'll do is we'll get some glue and then put it around the white areas of the frame. And you'll see I'm just going down the sides. You want to put it all around the frame so the new screen can secure on. The actual screen that I do, uh, sorry, I'll start again. The actual, um, the actual glue I do recommend is B7000 and that is the best glue that all the repairers use. It's, it's very easy to use and, and it's, it's fairly cheap. So I've got a link in the description on where to get the B7000 glue. And there we go. We just feed those cables through of the new screen. Very simple. And then we just hold it down so the glue can stick it down and uh, as you can see at the top there, the frame was crumbling a bit, so uh, you know it doesn't look too good, but it is sitting uh, secure and firm. That's just because of the part has, has essentially crumbled off. So now what we do is we put that little white clip back in, then we put the logic board back in, then we just pop that wire in, which is the cellular antenna. Make sure you don't forget that. And we clip in all those cables with the rear, uh, sorry, the rear camera. And then the plates go on top. So it's everything in reverse and it's just as easy. There's nothing tricky about it. 
you just need to make sure you put everything in place especially those those rear plates because you don't want uh, any type of cable popping out if you do tend to drop your phone or, or anything like that so once those plates are in all that needs to be done now is the actual screws and once again I think it's about eight of them if I do recall you just need to screw them in using a Phillips head screwdriver very simple stuff and apologies for knocking the camera there it is a bit wonky but Look, it, it's something that's very easy to see and I'm sure you understand there. Now, the great thing is we're almost there. So what we need to do is just get that back frame on. So I like to start from the top where the selfie camera is, clip it in and you'll see that I just slowly move down the side and it easily pops back in. Real easy. And uh, four screws. Phillips head screws, we just need to put them back in. And of course, the, the rear cover. We'll just put that back on. You can use the B7000 glue to stick it back on. And it's that simple. Once again, please like, please subscribe. So you can use this video as a reference. And if you've got any questions, drop a comment below. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.